Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I'm up at Lucky Peak Reservoir today. This is uh, the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, and uh, I've got the OG with me, the original DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, yeah, this is that first uh, sub 250 gram drone. Why are we flying this today? Just because we haven't flown it in a while. Now, uh, conditions today might be a little weird for this guy because we do have some wind. Uh, UAV forecast is saying 11 mile an hour sustained with tw some 20 some mile an hour gusts. It's just not that today. It's just not that windy, I can tell you from uh, being out here for a while. Uh, so we should be okay. We're, obviously, we're not going to fly this guy very far, but uh, it's kind of interesting. You know, you guys see Lucky Peak here as we, I do some different things with it. So yeah, you guys have seen Lucky Peak Reservoir before, uh, but they've got it pretty much full up for people to recreate on now. And you can see that there's a lot more boats out uh, on the uh, reservoir today. So uh, let's just put this little guy up in the air and let's just fly it around a little bit. Okay, we're fired up. It is asking for a compass calibration. So let's do that real quick. Hey, one thing I want to note about that compass calibration, two things, you saw how easy it, it was, uh, but uh, I know a lot of people will tell you to, when you're doing the vertical calibration to point the drone down. DJI in their graphic clearly shows the camera pointed up, so that's the way I do it, right, wrong, or indifferent. That's the way DJI says to do it, so that's what I do. Uh, we've got the return to home altitude set really high. Uh, I'm not going to go out anywhere where I think I need to be quite that high, so let's drop it back down to about 50, and uh, yeah, so we're all set there. Let's, uh, let's look at our menu, uh, and the safety menu is showing us the same thing, but it's telling us that, of course, the compass is normal and the IMU is normal. Uh, battery info, we can look at that real quick. Uh, yeah, battery's in good shape, 4.07 on both cells, so we're good to go. Uh, we're in 2.7K, 30 frames per second. Let's uh, start recording right now. And uh, it kind of throws me looking at this uh, original mini uh, the, with the new menu on the Fly app update. It just looks a little bit different. So. Uh, Heck, I think we should just do an auto takeoff. What do you think? Let me get out of the way so you guys can see it. Let me point this camera down just a little bit. And uh, here we go. Uh, auto takeoff on the app. And there's that little mini. Uh, and he's moving around quite a bit. It's, that moves around more than the, I think the, uh, the mini too. I'm going by memory here, of course. Uh, and, you know, of course, we have probably more wind than the last time I flew the Mini 2, so... But it seems to be holding it okay. It's, it's definitely holding in place. And, yeah, the app is telling us we're in an altitude zone. We know that. Uh, so, this is 150. In fact, there's an airliner kind of over uh, south of us and going up. But let me tell you, he's way, way higher than we are. Uh, but this is the approach to the Boise Airport, so that's why there's that... 150 meter limit that uh, that DJI puts in the app there. So, uh, but in any case, let's let's go up a little bit. Maybe we can bring it in. Yeah, we should be able to bring it in. It's fun flying a more stable drone like this. So, let's go right and left, and you can see that little gimbal working. It uh, you know we, as we come forward, it looks up. As we go back, the uh, the camera points down a little bit, and that's to keep that stable picture. So uh, let me, uh, I'm going to drop the camera down here a little bit and we're going to do our manual droney. And let me tell you, it's, uh, the wind is pushing it around. So reverse and up now, reverse and up. And boy, it, it sure stabilizes once you give it some stick input and it doesn't have to stay in just a single spot like that. Oh, this is such a pleasure to fly. I just, uh, I just got through flying the uh, MJX Bug 16, and it was just all but impossible uh, to control that drone because of uh, lag in the controller, etc. So, 
Uh, yeah, and it's giving us a wind warning, so let's uh, let's drop some altitude here. We'll bring her down a little bit, and yeah, we lost that wind warning. So there's probably some fairly significant wind, and we know that this little guy doesn't handle the wind as well as the Mini 2, but uh, this was a chance to take it out. Yeah, we're getting that wind warning again. Let's uh, let's move forward and maybe if we get kind of in a more protected area here, uh, that might go away. But that's good to know. I mean, the drone is handling fine. I think if we get down this draw here a little bit, we might be able to get away from that wind warning. And maybe not. Yeah, it's still there. So I'm going to turn around. And the wind definitely came up. Oh, well, there it stopped. So we'll keep going. The wind definitely came up as just now, you know, a gust of wind came up right after we took off there. It never fails. It was feeling pretty calm. And then as soon as you take off in the drone, here comes the wind, right? I just wanted to explore here and kind of show you guys uh what is uh what what we see here and you know i've told you about these campsites that they or, or picnic sites that they set up for boaters and i don't see a boater at any of these right now but they can uh you know they can just pull up on one of these docks and there's picnic facilities some of them believe it or not some of them out on the reservoir even have uh restroom facilities uh you know outhouses and it looks like they've set up a little swimming dock here, huh? Let's take a look at this. This is kind of cool. Is it is it just a square and yeah, it looks like it's just a square and it's empty in the middle. Huh. What do you think? Should we land the drone on it? Yeah, let's go down there and land the drone on that thing. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not that dumb. Let's uh, pick the camera back up here. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've shown you guys this before. That's Highway 21 that goes up to Idaho City. And look at all those. You never see that many cars on that road. They're, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend, so people are going up camping and, and just on a drive and doing all kinds of things. Looks like we got some activity at this one right here. So, yeah, you can see kind of a little lean-to there, and, uh, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go descend or get snoopy there, but I'm just trying to figure out how they got there because there's no, oh, yeah, that is a boat, okay, so, sorry, guys, yeah, that's a boat hitched up there, man, excuse me, 65-year-old uh, eyes looking at a little uh, sun-washed FPV screen. So that's exactly what I was telling you. Although, I've, i got to tell you, if I was them, I might have picked one of these ones that has a bunch of trees. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> and there we are out on the viewpoint. And thank goodness our wind warning went away. we got plenty of battery power. So let's just head back to the viewpoint here. And we're traveling right along. So, so the drone, uh, I can feel the wind, would actually be pushing kind of a headwind right now. And look at this. We're, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just doing great. I mean, we're at about 8 meters per second. So just in P mode. It's kind of interesting using the old style DJI controller after we're used to the new one. Uh, one of the things I do like about this controller, not everything's bad about it. I mean, I know every, typically we like to have our FPV screen above the controls, but this thing is so much lighter. It's kind of cool. So here we are. I'll see if I can do a, uh, I'll see if I can do kind of a manual circle around the, uh, around the point here. And you can see there's cars coming and going there car coming around the corner right now. You'll see him on the screen here in just a second. Let me, uh, I'm going to move sideways and see. There we're getting that wind warning again. Yep. 
and yeah so we're not we're pretty close to home here so I'm not too concerned but as soon as we got out of the protection of that uh, of that little uh, draw there you got a little bit of a wind warning well this is just kind of doing a manual orbit around this thing I think we should move out a little bit more so that way you can see and again we're getting that wind warning but we're close enough to home I'm not going to worry about it too much and we've got plenty of battery power here so let's uh, there's a bird going by too so that, you can see me standing there and we're just going to do a kind of a manual orbit around the point here and again we picked up that wind warning Discretion is the better part of valor. We won't get too carried away. Like I said, we're not going to go out there too far with that wind warning on the screen. And, you know, this little guy just isn't as powerful uh, as the Mini 2. And it's interesting what DJI did with the Mini 2, uh, how they were able to get that little 249-gram uh, drone. And, and uh, yeah, we're back in the altitude zone, and we're away from that wind warning. So that's good. And the wind warning is back again, but we'll uh, we're going to go ahead and just do a full kind of a loop around here, so you guys can see this. And I had a little bit of a break up there on FPV, and I realized that's because I was pointed away from the drone. And I, that's me backing up the drone a little bit. And you can kind of see on the other side of the point here, uh, those trails going down, and I think there's a beach down there. I'm trying to recall. I believe that there is. So let's back the drone up here a little bit. We're gonna go straight back. Yeah, and you can see a little beach down there. Oh gosh, there's a lot of folks down there, isn't there? Yep. Well, we will stay away from them. Let's, uh, let's go back the other way. And we're again going to do kind of a half circle around. So I was uh, wondered, you know, you see cars parked there, and I, I knew there was something down there. And it, it looks like they even have a little uh, uh, a little swim platform set up. That's kind of cool. I'd, I'd seen that before, but I'd never specifically looked at it. Okay, let's straighten out here. And let's uh, let's get out over the reservoir. We're not we're not getting any wind warnings right now, so I'm telling you, this is why you fly DJI drones. They just they just handle so well. It's just a pleasure to fly. So there again is the uh, that's the boat ramp. That's where you're going to see all the uh, all the boats uh, putting in, and I was. I was hoping to catch a, uh, a boat coming or going here, but uh, it doesn't look like we're going to do that. So let's move on around again. And we're out about 300 meters. Yeah, I don't want to go any further than that. So we'll work our way back. There's another, uh, there's another boat. Looks like he's going the other direction, though. Let me slowly bring us around, and it's just such a pleasure, like I said, after flying that other drone uh, that I had so much lag in the controls, it's just, it's just a joy to fly this DJI drone, I'm telling you. And battery life is good. I mean, look at this. We've been flying for uh, about 12 minutes now, and we're down to 46% battery. So, I mean, I'm saying that's really good. I mean, you know, how much do you need? Let's, uh, let's bring this guy back over the top of us. And I'm going to slide it over here so that I am missing these other folks. Boy, I hear motorcycles heading up the hill there. 
and uh, there's a little bird chirping. I wish I could tell you what kind of bird it is, but he's playing quite a song. I'm sure I, hopefully you guys can hear it. Okay, I'm going to come right over the top of this. It is a cute little drone flying through the air. And you know, it, it doesn't look uh, as uh, small as, as it is when it's in the air like that. I mean, it's moving right along. Okay, let's move around here because like I said, we don't want to fly over the top of those people on that beach. So we're gonna just kind of curl around here and get you guys a look at the, uh, at the side of the point here. You know, I guess what I'm trying to, what I'm, the conclusion that I'm coming to here is this little drone is still a fantastic little product. Uh, very, very valid, uh, valid purchase. I mean, I think, I, I think you can buy this refurb for like $320 or something like that on DJI's website. Man, that's a lot of drone for the money. Okay, so we're bringing it back around in front of us here. I'm looking at the drone and you know, you wouldn't think it's a mini drone. It's moving right through the sky. I didn't look at the, our speed there, but it was moving right along. So we have some folks moving along the fence here. So let's, let's get way to the other side of them and we will bring it on in. We'll bring it in here from the other direction. We're dropping some altitude. There you can see me there. I was going to pick up the gimbal a little bit, but we don't need to. Let's see if we can get this guy uh, on the pad here. It does not have precision landing, as you know, uh, like some other DJI drones do. But uh, I think we can get pretty close here. Now, like I've told you guys in the past, my depth perception is not that great, but I'm looking at the drone right now, and it looks to me like it's, uh, it's pretty, just about over the pad. So let's see how close I am. I'm gonna pull straight down on the left stick. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, I was actually behind the pad, but not too bad. You know, like I said, visually I was looking at the drone and it looked to me like it was right over the pad, but not quite. And so we landed with 30% battery and we had, were taking video for about 15 minutes. That's pretty darn good. So I'm going to stop video. You got to remember to do that on this drone so that you don't corrupt a video file. Cool thing about DJI is if that happens to you, if you shut off the, do the drone before you remember to stop recording video, Simply fire it back up, start another quick video, and then shut it off, and it will close out that previous file too, and that, then you won't have a corrupted file. So uh, let me get everything shut down, and we're gonna do a conclusion. Hey guys, uh, the DJI Mavic Mini, uh, gosh, I can't tell you how many times I've thought about uh, selling this little guy uh, because obviously I have the the Mini 2 now and there's new Mini drones coming out. I thought, well, you know, why do I need the Mavic Mini? Well, I'll tell you why, because look at the fun I had with it today. And one of the things about this drone is these lithium ion batteries, you can charge them and you can leave them charged. It's not like lithium polymer that it can cause problems if you leave them charged. So. Uh, it's just one of the advantages of, of this uh, of the batteries for this little drone. Now the batteries that this drone takes are compatible with the Mini 2, so I could use them in the Mini 2 as well. Uh, but uh, but in any case, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is this drone's a keeper. It's a lot of fun, and you know it was fairly windy here today, but you saw the drone handle it. We got some wind warnings, but it never seemed to really affect the drone. It it handled it just fine. So. Uh, yeah, we're good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed seeing another look at Lucky Peak Reservoir now that it's uh, almost completely full. Uh, a lot of people out there uh, enjoying some recreation. So uh, I guess that's about it. 
This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, yeah, the little Mavic Mini, uh, just nothing but fun. All right, see you guys later.